Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and this is Thinking and Causation, Level 1, Cause and Effect. Let's see what's in the thinking box. You can see on the left side, we've got two concepts we're going to deal with. One is cause, the other is an effect. Um, if we're ever dealing with concepts, it's very important that we first start by defining the system. So I'm going to put system over here, but we'll get to cause and effect in just a second. The object that represents cause and effect is a green arrow. And the reason why is that in science, we try to identify what's an effect, and then we work backwards to figure out what's causing it. And what happens first is really important in determining what's cause and what's effect. By the time you're done watching this video, you should be able to understand cause and effect in more complex objects like Newton's cradle or the heating of the earth. But I'm gonna start by showing you my thinking of cause and effect with this simple two gear machine. I'll show you that and then we'll work on these dominoes uh, together. And so the system that we're gonna deal with is going to be this two geared machine. First thing, if you're ever digging into concepts, you should always identify what's the system. So in this case, the system is going to be the two gear machine. So I'm gonna put this up here with system. And I should play around with the system or the object first. So in this system, I can move the gray gear and it's causing the yellow gear to move. So it doesn't matter which way I hold it. So I think I understand how this works. I'm gonna put it over here. And now I have to try to figure out what's going to be the cause and what's gonna be the effect. Whenever I'm doing a system and trying to identify cause and the effect, the first thing I try to do is write down all the things that I see taking place. What are the objects and what are the events taking place? So I see really these two gears moving. So the two events that I've written down are the gray gear rotating and then the yellow gear rotating. Now if you're observing carefully, you also notice that I'm turning the gray gear, so that's another event. But since we defined the system just as the two gear machine, we're just gonna focus on these two events. And now we have to figure out what's the cause and what's the effect. In other words, what's the relationship between these two events? Does the yellow gear rotate and that causes the gray gear to rotate? Or does the gray gear rotate and that causes the yellow gear to rotate? That makes more sense to my brain. And so I'm gonna put a relationship block between the two and this is where I'm gonna put that arrow. So what does that green arrow represent? That green arrow represents the connection between the cause and the effect. So the cause leads to the effect. And so another way to label the events is like this. So we've got the cause of the gray gear rotating and the effect of the yellow gear rotating. I could test that if I remove the gray gear I'm trying to move the gray gear and the yellow gear is not moving. So by removing that cause, I'm not getting the effect. And so this is pretty simple, but no, in science, lots of times we have to see what happens. That's the effect and then work, work backwards for the cause. So let me get these out of the way. And now let me set up a uh, system two that we're gonna work on together. What I have here is domino one, domino two, and domino three. And so that's going to be the system. It's important that we, we define what the system is going to be. And so that's going to be the, I'm gonna call it, the following dominoes is going to be the system. So let me watch, uh, show you what happens. So now what I want you to do is pause the video. I want you to write down what are all the events that you saw taking place, identify the cause and the effects within the system. Um, pause the video and when you're done, uh, either writing it out or using the Google slide deck below the video, come back and I'm gonna show you how I would put together this thinking. Okay, um, just like before, I'm gonna move the system over here. I could watch it one more time. So I'm definitely starting by hitting domino one. So I'm gonna write down all the events that I saw. So the three events that I saw was domino one falling over and that's knocking on domino two, which is eventually causing domino three to fall. And so the relationship that I would identify in this system would be the following. So domino one falls, that causes domino two to fall, and then domino two falls, and that causes domino three to fall. 
And so a way to put that in uh, concepts is I could say domino one falling is my cause, domino two falling could be an effect. But then domino two falling becomes a cause and that leads to domino three falling, which is an effect. Or I could say the initial cause is domino one falling and then domino uh, three is going to be a final effect that's going to happen. And so those are just two simple examples. What I would like to have you do next is go try to figure out cause and effect in uh, the Newton's cradle. There's a video of that in the Google slide deck below the video. Try that. There's also a key down there so you can see if you're right. And then there's also one on the heating of the earth. So I would try both of those and all we're trying to do is identify first what happened, what's the effect, and what's the cause. Um, so that's cause and effect. That's just level one and I hope that was helpful.